Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! That's it's right. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day, and we're gonna release the top five today for the occasion. And what should we talk about, Tom? Well, we're spending Valentine's Day together. That's right. Doing this. Doing this. Slater. And today, guys, we're gonna be doing our top five movie kisses. Not TV kisses, nope. not theatre kisses. No. Nope. Movie kisses. Movie kisses, the best time. And so prepare to get romantic, prepare to get sweaty, prepare to get worked up. My number five, cliche of me, it's Lord of the Rings, of course. I just had to get this out of the way real quick. What, front of the scene? No, 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 I wish. <laughs> no, this is the end of Return of the King, Aragorn and Arwen. And I just like it because it's an earned kiss. You know? Oh, right, yeah. The ending of Return of the King, there's a lot of them. They're all bittersweet. And this is a bittersweet one because Aragorn doesn't want to be king, but he embraces that he has to be king. And then Arwen shows up. And no longer will she be immortal, she's going to be mortal in love with Aragorn, you see her dad looking a bit heartbroken. But they're both happy, and it's like, yeah. it's bittersweet, but also one of the happiest endings in that film. My number five, not a really well-known movie, but it's The Girl Next Door. The, the rundown of this movie is this, um, this kid, Emil Hirsch, is really fascinated with this girl who lives next door. Mm -hmm. She's really beautiful. Anyway, so he's kind of like, really fascinated with her, and she's kind of teasing him, and kind of just pushes him to do like, stuff that he wasn't used to doing, because he's such a book nerd. They go to this party, he kind of gets pushed aside by these jockey dudes. Ugh. And then he's kind of left hanging out with his friends and he's just watching from across the yard like her just talking to this, this dickhead guy. And uh, you really feel for him because like I think as a teenager we've all been in that moment where you've seen like a really beautiful girl across the party being like, man, I wish. Mm. And then he just kind of goes, nah, and then just goes for it. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. I liked it. Maybe jealous. Never happened to me. <laughs> Sweet me out my number four is from a little movie called Jennifer's Body. Oh, no way. <laughs> Megan, Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried. I don't have to explain myself. No. Just watch. My number four is less lesbian and more uh, 19th century, and I'm going with Django Unchained. Ooh. The whole movie, Django is on this mission to find Broomhilda, mm -hmm. and then he finally gets to, to Broomhilda, but then he's ta she's taken away again. Mm -hmm. And then Django's on the verge of almost being killed, and then he find gets his way out of there, and he rides a horse back to Broomhilda, where she's being captive in this, in this cabin. And the way it's set up is so beautiful, because like she's lying in this bed, and she's crying, and you know she doesn't know what's going to happen to her. And then this beautiful, like, um, Ennio Morricone music just picks up, and then you see his shadow just kind of walk silhouette across the um, wallboards and stuff. Music builds up, and she doesn't know. She thinks someone's coming into the to the room to hurt her and stuff. And then. Boom. It's me, baby. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> and then she she perks up and then she gets up and they just have this beautiful moment of embrace. Mm. And it's just earned because yeah. you totally feel that Django's been fighting the yeah. whole movie to get to this point, to get his woman, you know. And there's just the mutual love these guys feel for each other. The kiss is just so we're gonna work <laughs> up. It's like it's so passionate. My number three is a bit different for the normal kiss scenes. It's from The Godfather Part 2. Oh wow. Michael Corleone, The Godfather, mm. played by Al Pacino. There's an assassination attempt on his life and him and his family are almost killed. Mm. So the first act, he's trying to figure out who did it, who could have been involved. And he gets to a point where he figures out one of the main people involved was his brother, Fredo, his older brother. Yeah. And there's this uh, amazing scene where he, it's a New Year's party in Cuba. And he walks up to Fredo and just grabs him by the skull. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. He tells, he feels so betrayed, and he like, gives him the like the kiss of death mm. publicly. It's kind of the opposite of it, you know. A kiss supposed to be, is an embracing thing, and it's like bringing someone together. But yeah. in that moment, it's kind of like, "Fuck, you done." Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, it's, still, like, it's still a yeah. mark of love, but just 
Betrayal. You betrayal, know, you're my yeah. brother and you've tried to kill me. And, and it's amazing how that can just be shown just through that kiss. Mm. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hey, my number three is from a film that I don't think a lot of people know about. It's called The Sandlot. It's a really sweet film. It's about kids um, kids in summer. You're partying and hanging out. The kissing scene I'm talking about is there's a day that they're, they're hanging out and it's so hot. They're going through a heat wave and they're just like, they can't play baseball. Their sodas are just heating up quicker than they're cooling. And they're like, we're going to go to the pool. And there's this kid called Squints. And he's uh, totally in love with this lifeguard who's at the pool. She's so older than him that there's like nothing he can do and it just frustrates him and he kind of like, he's so much in love with her. I can't take this no more! Move! And he did the most desperate thing. And so he devises this beautiful scheme to like, a fake drowning in, in the pool and it's so good. And everyone's freaking out and the lifeguard, she dives in the water. She picks him up and everyone's gathered around. Everyone's like, oh my God, like, cause they don't know what he's, what he's up to. <laughs> And his mates are like, no way. <laughs> this magic moment. <laughs> so Little pervert. From that point, he gets kicked out of the pool. And on his way out, he looks at her again and she just kind of gives him this very beautiful, like, kind of just like little wink. Mm. Like, as in she kind of like appreciate the, the gesture. It makes me laugh every time I watch it, just that kid's reaction to like waking up and looking at his mates and kind of give him the yeah. look. It's just so well done. And it's a, it's a really sweet kiss and this one that I just really appreciate. Nice. Did you plan that? Of course I did. Been planning it for years. You guys didn't plan that! He knew what he was doing! One of, if not the most iconic kiss of all time from The Lady and the Tramp. Oh yeah. An animated film. The scene is these two Italian men who lose their fucking minds out of <laughs> from sheer boredom, decide to make spaghetti for these dogs. Tony, dogs are done to talk. He's a talker to me. Okay, he's a talker to you. You get to the moment where they're both pick up the string and come together and have the kiss and beautiful. it's like, oh, it's beautiful. It's like the Disney moment. And I think like, a lot of people try and replicate that moment Oh yeah, it's well. been done a lot. Ne never happens properly no. because they only, always need a different piece of pasta. Only there. Disney. Um, but that is the <laughs> Disney image. That's one of the quintessential yeah. Disney moments. And I think the um, addition of the uh, Bella Nova, the song, really enhances the moment, you know. Beautiful night and we call it a This makes it really like a nice romantic really scene. really into dogs hooking up. I love dogs fucking. <laughs> Getting toward the end here with number two mm. is from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now everyone knows which one I'm talking about. I don't need to explain it, but it's a the really, really well done scene, and it, and it won MTV Movie Awards Best Kiss of that year. Yeah, very important. It's a beautiful, beautiful scene. You know, it's at night, and uh, Mary Jane, the muggers have kind of run off, and she's standing in the rain. And she's looking for you know her her, her savior. Yeah. Spider-Man comes down, and he's kind of upside down. Yeah, yeah doing that, a classic Spider-Man pose. Typical classic yeah. Spider-Man. The make out that happens is just so like, it's, it's raw and passionate and just you buy it 100%. Mm -hmm. so I remember being like, wow, that's a, that's a kiss. Mm. That, that scene is kind of cool because it comes back mm. in the next two movies. Like he, she, it does. She kind of kisses people yeah. upside down. Yeah. And um, then he does it with Gwen Stacy and she's like, it was not a kiss. You know, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's still a pop point. It's not just True. a random moment. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Like, but uh, yeah, a very good moment. Like, and, like, like Lady in the Trap, it's a very iconic kiss. Yeah. It's not over romanticized, you know, like romantic music or anything. I'm pretty sure it's mostly just like the sound effects in the rain. Mm. Maybe a bit of score, but just close-ups on the faces mm. and just like straight neck and sun. Nice. My number one is from the Tim Burton film Sleepy Hollow. Right on. At the end of the film it is revealed that Lady Van Tassel is the one who sold her soul to Satan mm. to bring back the Headless Horseman. Mm. And so he starts killing all the people that have Chris wronged Walker. her. And so at the end of the film Johnny Depp Ichabod Crane throws yeah. the skull and he grabs it, puts the head back on. <laughs> and he steals her away and she kind of is knocked out and wakes up and looks at him in the eye and he's like, hey, what's yeah, up? Yeah, what's and up, she's baby? like, oh fuck! <laughs> and she's like bleeding, he's just like all these fucking massive teeth. He's, 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 he's like, he's like, like yeah, yeah. And he just rips into her and she's like, ah! screaming in pain. Blood's <laughs> dripping from her mouth. And he's like, ah! just enjoying it, yeah, savoring right, the yeah. sweet taste of blood in his mouth. I'm and then they, shit. and it's so romantic because yeah. immediately they ride into hell. And the way they get through to hell is through this demon tree. tree. Yeah. And it's just, just it's like a geyser of blood. Yeah. She's like, ah, and grind it up yeah, in the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting sucked into hell. It's just so romantic. It's, it's, it's like, just, he hasn't had a head yeah, in years. Yeah. And he finally gets a head back, and the first thing he wants to do is, is kiss someone. Yeah. And it's, it's beautiful. And she totally deserves it because yeah. she, she made her bed. She's got to sleep in it. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful scene. I, I remember that scene because I remember, like, when he opens his mouth, like, it's normal, but then as soon as the mouth gets wider, it's the fangs start to appear, yeah. and then he kind of overbites yeah. her, and it's just, I was just like, whoa. It's terrible. Yeah. But uh, that movie still really holds up, I reckon. I, really I love how that's your that number color. one, though. Yeah. That's a dark number one. Yep. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> My number one is from Drive. 
Okay. Yeah, this is the scene with uh, the driver and uh, his floor mates, um, Ker Kerry Mulligan, in the elevator. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. It's a really kind of haunting scene. Things are in motion that they can't be reversed and they kind of have to continue and no one's life is going to be the same from this point. And so they're both in the elevator. There's a third man in this elevator as well. Ryan Gosling's character sees like a gun and then he kind of knows, uh oh, like this is kind of what it's come to. Footage slows down to slow-mo, music kind of kicks up, and also the lighting changes as well, and the, and the um, kind of backlight hits up from the top below. And then he just turns around and he just starts kissing the Kerry Mulligan character. This is his last moment. He knows this is probably his last moment he's ever gonna be able to see her. And it's beautiful because his camera just one shot and it just kind of moves in. Straight after the kiss, it's just complemented with a straight, savage act of violence. We've got some drive characters like, cracking the shit out of this dude's head. Mm. The sex and violence kind of is a really well complement each other. It's not necessarily sex in the scene, but romance in a way. This one, I remember just watching, but like, wow, this is just taking me back fully. And then just how quick he's in the moment with her and then just on the flip of a hat, he just, boom, he's just savagely just changes. Mm. And I think that's a testament to his character, how he's almost schizophrenic in some way. He's kind mm. of two people. And I just think it complements perfectly in that scene. And that kiss is yeah. just totally sold. But I think that's quite funny. Our, our last two number ones are kind of dark. Yeah, it's they're sad. Not, they're, not, they're not the typical like it's, romantic kisses. It says a lot about us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably get some counseling. I think we should. We should do that now. But thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Uh, I can subscribe to all that. Um, yeah. All you lovebirds out there, have a really great Valentine's Day. Totally. Go see Fifty Shades Freed. I hear it's really good. Or Black Panther, that's on as well. Is that coming out soon? Yeah, yeah definitely go see Black Panther. Panther. Apparently it's really good. I'll go see both. I'll double feature. You do. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Please like and subscribe guys and uh, do everything else, check all the other cool top fives that we've got going on and uh, enjoy, enjoy your week, mm. spend time with your loved ones, bye.